Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Liv Simone, and today I am here with Kenny, a clay dancer, yeah. choreographer, teacher, mentor. And I'm going to ask you a few questions, are you ready? All right, pop quiz. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. The first question is Who were your favorite artists growing up? One, for sure, Jenny Jackson. Ah, uh, what was your favorite song? Ooh. All right. Um, on the Rhythm Nation album. I really like Whoops Now, which was a bonus track on um, the Jimmy album. Awesome. But I love all of Jimmy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> the second question <laughs> is so you created an amazing group of dancers called NBA, mm -hmm. and it's also known as No Boys Allowed. Uh, so, what inspired you to create that group? What inspired me to create No Boys Allowed was uh, I grew up. I grew up in this industry around a lot of women who suffered from like self hate and like jealousy and envy from other girls for no reason. And I wanted to create not a group that really needs no boys allowed, but to let the girls know that they don't need anything except for their own belief in themselves and God. And um, yeah, I just wanted them to always feel like they had a support system and feel like they, no matter what, I didn't want it to be a dance crew, even though that's the common foundation, I wanted it to be a group that uh, supported me in life, almost like a sorority. Okay, I like that. I really want to preach. <laughs> <laughs> so the third question is, so you teach, you yeah. dance, you perform, choreograph. So what is your favorite of all four? I really love to perform. There's a lot of that still in me, but I also love to teach. Um, I love to just create and um, I feel like I always want to be the teacher. I'm a teacher I wish I had because I had really great teachers and had great mentors, but I feel like we're in a space where we're not if you're not seeking to learn the information, then you're not getting it. Whereas I grew up where it was so much information given to you um, that I feel like I'm able to pass that along and really be effective in teaching. And life is all about being effective. So I would say teaching. I'm glad you like teaching. I love your classes. <laughs> yes. What advice would you like to give to aspiring dancers? The number one thing I would say for aspiring dancers, or inspiring anyone really, is to believe in yourself. Okay. Um, believe in yourself, and if you're gonna do it, it's something I tell myself every day, is if you're gonna do it, wake up and believe that you're supposed to do it. Not that um, you're just doing it by coincidence. There's a reason why you're doing it. So do it with belief in that, and do it with faith, and do it um, boldly. And always be you. Never feel like you have to bend who your character is to make it. Because the universe will make way for you if you're living with your, your authentic self. Oh, okay. What would you like the next generation to bring to the table in the dance world? I would love to see the next generation bring respect for themselves and for each other and for the art and to uh, really push boundaries. Which is something I also draw on myself is like push your push your own talent and be your own first teacher, and really uh, don't settle just to be content and to be good, but push to be great and really figure out what that means and define what success is to you. I'm you know? like that. And the last question is: Give one fun fact about yourself. One fun fact about myself: I'm fun. One <laughs> 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 fun fact. One fun fact about myself. I don't know. So many facts would seem fun. I love Skittles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. But I like to go, I love carnivals and I love food trucks. Oh, uh huh. Food trucks Those are fun the best. Yeah, I feel like the life of it is always so fun, but yeah. I really love food trucks. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to eat. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs>